the PNY Accelerate CS3030 NVMe SSD was released back in 2019 to widely positive reviews. Singled out for praise in many of the reviews was the drive's excellent endurance. A 380 TBW for the 250GB version of the drive, 800 TBW for the 500GB version, and 1665 TBW for the 1TB drive, it was among the highest endurance low-cost NVMe SSDs. I was a little surprised then to find Crystal Disk Info reporting the health of my 500GB drive as 26%, after writing only 130TB. That's less than 20% of the advertised write endurance at the time I bought it. I double checked the spec sheet I downloaded a couple of weeks ago, and sure enough the TBW for the 500GB drive was 800TBW. So why was my drive at 26% health? Well, I went back to the PNY website again today and downloaded the spec sheet again. This time I noticed that it had been updated on the 21st of May. Although the two spec sheets downloaded 20 days apart look very similar, there's one important difference. It appears that PNY has quietly updated the CS3030 sometime in the last few months and replaced the high endurance TLC NAND of the original with an inferior NAND in the process reducing the endurance by a factor of almost 5. The original 250GB drive had an endurance rating of 380TBW. That's now been reduced to 170, less than half. The original 500GB drive had an endurance of 800TBW. That's now reduced to the same as the 250GB drive, just 170TBW. That's a difference of almost 5 times and now makes the CS3030 one of the worst 500GB TLC drives on the market in terms of endurance, almost delving into QLC territory. The 1TB drive has also been reduced from 1665TBW to just 360, and the 2TB drive has been reduced from 3115TBW to just 660. The only version of this drive to stay anywhere near its original endurance rating is the 4TB, but even that has been reduced by over 10%, from 6820TBW to 6070. I don't know when PNY changed the drive specifications, but the original spec sheet with the higher TBW values was downloaded from PNY's own website on the 11th of May, and I've owned my drive for several months. It looks like endurance may not be the only spec to have taken a hit. The original 500GB CS3030 was able to reach write speeds of around 2000 megabytes per second. In multiple tests with this drive, I wasn't able to get over around 1300. Then again, this may just be a reduction of performance as my drive nears the unexpectedly premature end of its life. Both the original drive and the new drive look exactly the same. They have the same name, the same model numbers, they share the same packaging, and even have the same universal product code. So even if buyers were aware that the specifications have been reduced, they have no way of knowing which drive they're going to be getting, and probably wouldn't even think to check until they discover that it's dying several times sooner than expected. When manufacturers change product specifications like this halfway through a product's life cycle without changing the model number or product code, it causes major problems for consumers. Anyone looking for a review of this drive is going to find dozens of them, all with the old TBW ratings. So they're going to be buying what they think is a drive with high endurance, while in fact what they're spending their money on is a drive with some of the worst endurance on the market today. Even retailers I found online who are selling this drive still have the old specifications as part of the product description. It's not just a small difference, it's a reduction of almost 80% in the expected life of the drive. So to sell it as the same drive with the same model number and the same UPC code is incredibly misleading. I can only recommend that you avoid this drive entirely. With these new specifications, it's not even close to being worth buying. That's it for this video, thanks for watching.